Hi guys, it is Haig here. It is Saturday, December 17th, and we take a look at our winter weather that is forecast for East Vancouver Island next week. We are expecting snow and flurries throughout the week. Thursday, we could have a big transition phase from snow to rain, so we're going to take an in-depth look. This is the updated video for December 17th of the winter weather outlook, and we're going to go over it in very in-depth detail here. So, um... We're going to start off by taking a look at GFS here. As we go through the day on Sunday, we increase the flurries, especially over southern Vancouver Island, because the Arctic air will be coming out the inlets at this time, likely picking up moisture from the Strait of Georgia. So flurries will be locally localized and quite heavy at, at times in certain spots. So it, it could favor Nanaimo quite a bit for a 5 to 10 centimeter range. We'll talk more about that later on when I actually uh, look at some of the higher resolution models. GFS wants to bring another deeper low <coughs> pressure system. Northern tip high to Gwai, like it showed last night. With this being deep Arctic air, it's probably going to be mostly snow. And then uh, on Thursday, another front comes in. This one is the atmospheric river, but it's so far to the north now that it's just going to be mostly of a rain event at this point going into Friday, according to the GFS. But we have to go and see what the ECMWF has to say. So... We'll take a look at what ECMWF has to say, and uh, we're going to see, again, these uh, flurries are going to be around the South Island on Sunday, so there'll be localized accumulations again. And uh, denoted here, I did show you the GIM model last night when I made the video. It had the low pressure, a low pressure system uh, going in and across Nay Bay. It's not showing that. It's actually showing that going towards Portland now, so we might miss out on that... Uh, low on Tuesday but flurries are still around as you see into the extended even into uh, Thursday at times over East Vancouver Island as the convergence is there for CFX snow at times so uh, that can be drop localized spots can get higher amounts than others and these events are typically narrow bands of snow so you might experience something like you're in South Nanaimo you're getting a bit of light flurries and just a centimeter go to north nanaimo you could be getting like five centimeters and something like this so it's uh very localized as well which is good but it does favor nanaimo if you're a snow lover from what i'm seeing right here and we'll go look at deeper uh models here like actual deeper uh in depth in a bit here we're going to go to the canadian and let's see what the canadian has to say once again we have flurries are around south island sunday nanaimo is likely getting flurry sunday keeps it around into Tuesday as well, just like the ECMWS. So those flurries are sticking around quite for an extended period of time, especially near Nanaimo and East Vancouver Island there. Just really over the Strait of Georgia between the mainland and Nanaimo it seems to hang on to those flurries. So, And then we finally have another uh, low pressure system, which is going to be later in the week. But look at right here. I want to say on Tuesday, I was telling you last night, I want to see it. There's a huge difference here between last night and tonight, uh, last night, if we go back to it, has the system come in more closer to Vancouver Island? Let me see if I can find the previous run. I think this is the one. So last night, look what it showed last night. Actually, this is the wrong run. Where was it? At one point, it was showing a, a system coming into New Bay. I think it's one of these runs here. I don't know. I forget what model I was looking at last night, but it had it going in closer to Nay Bay, so it's now looking like it's going towards Portland. So a little bit less snow, maybe Tuesday, but flurry seems to stick around uh, for Vancouver Island, East Vancouver Island in particular. So we have to take a look at some of these uh, accumulations and even some of the shorter range models for Sunday here. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And just getting a better look at Vancouver Island. And you can really see, you know, that the flurries try to stick around the South Island more into Tuesday and stuff. Especially near Nanaimo, which is pretty good if you're an Nanaimo snow lover right now at this point. So uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some short range models and see if they're in agreement here. So let's take a look at... Uh... Let me see products and short term forecast we'll go into uh see what the nam 12k has to say 
we increased flurries for Sunday. Really favors Nanaimo still, just like the other models are showing. Maybe not keeping it as around into Tuesday at this point, but still shows it there. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, some other things here, like national blend of models. Let me go into snowfall accumulations here. What would that look like in terms of accumulation? And if I play it out, you can see Nanaimo has got some locally heavier snow in the 10 centimeter range by Tuesday, so... Even going up to 12 centimeters, even going on into Wednesday, going up to 18 to 20 centimeters. Look at that. Nanaimo is really in a good spot for high impact snow. We've taken on into Christmas. It's likely going to be too warm by then, but this is by near Christmas time. It's showing we could be at the 30 centimeter mark. So uh, there's other models that we can even look at. So we can actually go in some other models and see what they have to say. Let's take a look at... Uh, now 12k snowfall projections and it's only going out two days here but it's not as aggressive but it does favor Nanaimo once again for a localized heavier snow than the rest of the Vancouver Island so we'll take a look at uh the gim rig here 10k once again it shows those extra areas of heavier snow especially Nanaimo this one's placing it closer to Parksville we won't know really where these narrow bands line up, but they could be locally heavy and intense because it could be convective in nature. So it's a looking like a super interesting uh, forecast period for next week coming up. And snow squalls are something so interesting because one spot can get hardly anything and another spot can get quite a bit. <clears throat> we'll take a look at one more model here. Let's try this model. It too is favoring areas near Nanaimo to get higher snowfall accumulation so it's looking pretty snowy for Nanaimo especially which is a good news if you like snow in Nanaimo and uh we'll go back and look at some more things here cut some of the temperatures we may be seeing in this arctic air event um for an example We'll take a look at uh, metrograms here. This is actually the uh, ECMWF. And by Monday, the high is minus 5 and the low is minus 7. And even lows of minus 9 getting close to the minus <coughs> 10 mark for Tuesday at Nanaimo Airport. Wednesday as well. And you can see the temps <coughs> rebound on that warm front on uh, Thursday. And it's already up to 7 or 9 degrees by Christmas, according to the ECMWS. So, uh, quite warmer air for Christmas, but there will be snow on the ground to make it a white Christmas, probably. So, uh, let's take a look at, uh, what the GIM model has to say in terms of these, uh, forecasts, uh, high and low temperatures. The GIM model here, or this is GFS, rather. Showing minus 12 overnight for Monday, minus 11, minus 6 for a daytime high. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, the temperatures rebound. And by the 27th, we have a daytime high of plus 10 possible. So it looks like it gets much warmer beyond Thursday here. We'll take a look at uh, one more model here. We'll take a look at uh, GIM model finally. And the GIM model is also showing minus double digits now. December 21st, we might be able to break a temperature record. Let me check here. I'm going to go into Environment Canada here and see if we would actually break a record that day. If it does get to minus 11, let me see. So we want December 21st. What's the record? It is minus 18.6. We're probably not going to do it then. So, But yeah, it's got some pretty deep Arctic air nonetheless. Minus double digits for the nine was rare. So, uh... It's looking like it's looking like a pretty uh snowy forecast period. Sorry here. So uh yeah, that's about it. I'll make another video tomorrow and it's looking like it's gonna favor an animal for prolonged flurry actions, even if it's periodic next week. You get into Thursdays when that warm front comes in. Actually I should just show you that warm front here. I mean it, it it's just gonna depend on the track on Thursday. There's the atmospheric river at that point, it's all rain. We'll take a better in-depth look later on the next day I make a video. 
But for now, goodbye, and that is the in-depth look at our snowfall forecast for East Vancouver Island.